latest version of Microsoft Visio is an exceptional vector graphic application. Microsoft Visio can be used to build highest quality diagrams and also supports creation of 3D maps. Microsoft Visio has its own artificial intelligence engine that allows you to import the data from external sources like Excel files or databases and it will build diagrams for you. Microsoft Visio has several hundred shapes which you can choose from to build your own diagrams and it allows you to print on the various different paper sizes as well as to export your documents as PDF. In this tutorial I will share with you a quick overview on how to use Visio application and we will build together cross-functional swim lane diagram. Let's go ahead and get started. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. My name is Vadim Michalenka and I have MBA and master's degree in computer science. Most of my career I worked as a consultant helping companies implement solutions. I learned a lot of technologies throughout my career but more importantly I developed a methodology how to learn new skills which I would like to share with you as part of my videos. I also work as an educator in the community college helping people to learn technology and find jobs. I started online training for everyone to share the knowledge and help people to reach their goals faster. Please consider subscribing to this channel. Skills that you learn here will be helpful for you now and also in the future. One of the best ways to start creating new diagrams in Microsoft Visio is start using templates. Templates are available if you click on the File tab and select New. You can find templates among many different categories, for example, Network, Flowcharts, Software, Education, Business, Database, or Floor Plans. Or you can find template that you need by typing the name of the template that you might be looking for, for example, UML in my case. And if something that you need is available in the list. If you're unsure which template do you need, you can start with the basic diagram or blank drawing. I'm going to click on the basic diagram to start my Visio diagram. In your typical Microsoft Visio workflow, you will start by selecting the template. You use Microsoft Visio by using ribbon interface with its tabs, groups and commands. You access all the shapes that you need through the palette, stencils and shapes. To start creating the diagram, you just drag the shape into the diagram and from here you can do multiple things. You can double click on the shape and add a title to the shape. You can access additional features of the shape by using right mouse click and as you can see you can cut, copy and paste the shapes, you can change features of the font or you can access shape properties. Most of the commands you need to use Visio are located on the Home tab. In fact Microsoft claims that 80% of the times you will be spending in the Home tab. On the Home tab you can access clipboard commands, you can change fonts properties. For example you can increase the size of the font once shape is selected or decrease the size of the font. You can realign the font through the paragraph group. You can access to the tools. There are six different tools in the tools section. You can access to the shape styles. For example, if you are not happy with the style of the shape, once it's selected, you can change the style of the shape and select the one that you like. One way to add more shapes into the diagram is just to drag another shape and place it next to the first one. You can see that Visio provides grid lines which allows you to place the shape aligned with the previous shape. This allows you to build professional diagrams very quickly. Once we've added the second shape, we can double click on it and give it a title. You see that the font sizes are different between the shapes. One cool feature Microsoft Visio provides is to copy format from one shape to another. To do that you need to use Format Painter and you use Format Painter by selecting the original shape from which you're trying to copy the format. Click in Format Painter, clicking on the shape to which you would like to copy the format to. As you have two shapes now, you might consider connecting them. You connect the shapes using connector tool. You select the connector tool and drag the line from one shape to another. As you can see, now line is selected and Visio provides shape styles for line. We can change the shape styles by selecting among the available styles. Let me give you a couple reasons why you might consider subscribing to online training for everyone. State-of-the-art skills, tips, Tricks and techniques we share with you here on online training for everyone will help you today and in the future. We use scientifically proven methodology to create videos that will help you learn faster and retain more materials. When you click the subscribe button now, you will become connected and will be the first one to receive automatic notifications when new video is released. Since there are so many commands in the ribbon, Microsoft Visio 
provides you ability to find commands you might be looking for with the option Tell Me. For example, even though Zoom In and Zoom Out features are available in the bottom right corner and you can use them, let's say that you don't know where there might be. All you need to do is to go to the Tell Me box and type Zoom and it will show you that there are multiple different Zoom options available and you can zoom specifically based on the percentage that you'd like to zoom or based on the page size. In addition to being able to find specific zoom size, you can also fit the diagram and switch to the presentation mode. Both of these features are located next to the zoom bar. For example, if you're trying to fit it to the window, you click the fit to the window button. And if you're trying to switch to the presentation mode, it will remove all ribbons and you will have full screen access to your diagram. To exit the presentation mode, you click the escape button. Visio allows you to have multiple diagrams inside single VSDX file. You create multiple diagrams by accessing Diagram Tabs feature. When we created blank Visio file, it added one single tab, which is called Page 1. You can rename this tab by double-clicking on it, and I'm going to give it a name, Vendor Relationship. You can add additional tabs by using this plus sign, or you can duplicate an existing diagram by right mouse clicking on this tab and selecting Duplicate. Clicking plus signs adds new blank diagram into the Visio file versus duplicates previous diagram that you've selected for duplication. Once you're done working on the diagram, you can save it as Visio file or export it as PDF or image. There are multiple different formats available for you. For example, the key ones I use as PDF. You can also export it as video as MP4 file, JPEG, PNG, and TIFF. If you like the content, please give this video a big thumbs up. This tells us that you need more content like this and we'll make sure that you get it in the future. The easiest way to start building swim lane diagram in Microsoft Visio is to find swim lane template. Template comes with the title area as well as the two swim lanes. To assign your own title to the diagram based on what you're trying to build, you double click on the title and type the new name. You assign names to the swim lanes in the same way by double clicking the name of the swim lane and typing the new name. You draw the diagram by dragging the shapes from the stencils area in Microsoft Visio onto the diagram. Every swim lane diagram typically has a starting point, and for our particular process of purchase order approval process, the requester will be gathering details for the purchase order and creating purchase order approval request. Microsoft Visio provides you three different ways to add shapes to the diagram. You can drag shapes from the stencils area right onto the diagram. Once shape is in place, you can double-click on the shape and add the required text. To connect the shapes, you need to switch to connector tool and draw the line in between the shapes. Second way of adding shapes onto Swimlane diagram is by copying shape and pasting it. You can update the text on the shape in the same way by double-clicking on the shape and replacing existing text with the new text. When you drag this shape, Visio provides grid lines so you can place the shape along with other shapes on the same diagram. And you draw the line between the shapes by switching to connector mode and drawing the line. The third way of adding the shape is the easiest because it allows you to add the shape and connect the line in the same step. To do that, you use triangles at the end of the shape and pick the next step from the list of available shapes. And as a last step, type the text by double clicking on the shape and typing the text. As you can see, by using the third method, we've accomplished multiple objectives. We created new shape, new line was automatically added, and shape was placed along with other shapes to make the diagram look very professional. There are three main scenarios when you might consider using cross-functional swim lane diagram. The first scenario is when you need to define specific actors. You need to specifically outline who is doing what in the process. Second scenario is when you need to define specific roles and responsibilities. And the third scenario is combination the first two, as organization frequently use RACI matrix to define who is responsible, accountable, consulted, and informed in the process flow. When we were just starting our mission, we wanted to pick the name that would best describe our values. And this is the main reason why we picked how to analyze data.net, because the core of our mission is covering questions how and why in every video that we make. Make sure you consider this when you're making your own decision whether to subscribe to the channel or not. Because online training for everyone is one of the few channels that provides you with the real answers. 
Typically, after order is created in the system, direct supervisor or manager need to approve the acquisition. To do that, we need to show this as a step in another swing lane. Because this is a decision step, we need to show it with the diamond shape. But I already put in the rectangular shape, which shows the process. In fact, I did it on purpose to demonstrate you another cool capability of Microsoft Visio of changing the shapes. You do it by navigating to the home ribbon and choosing the change shape button where you can pick the shape and replace one shape with another shape. You type the text in the diamond shape the same way as you would do in the regular shape. Typically, for the decision shape, there is one input and multiple outputs. One output might be when manager doesn't approve the request. We need to show it with the end shape. And to show the branch of not approving, we double click on the line and type the text. If manager approves the request, it needs to go to procurement department for processing. As you can see, we don't have a procurement department swim lane, and we can edit in multiple ways. One way is to drag the swim lane from the stencils box directly onto the diagram, and then snap it right into existing diagram. Another, and I think much easier way, is to select an existing swim lane, right mouse click, and say insert swim lane after. To give diagram a title, you double click on the existing title and type the new name. Typically, procurement department starts their process by requesting quotes from multiple vendors. To reflect this, we need to add a process step in the procurement swim lane. Then add a title to the process box and then connect shapes using connector. We also would like to make sure to reflect that this happens after manager approves the original request. Procurement department is typically also responsible for selecting the vendor. They do it as another process step in the diagram. And we can reflect it as a separate shape in procurement swim lane. As you might have noticed, I was frequently switching between pointer tool and connector tool in Microsoft Visio. These tools are among three most used tools in Microsoft Visio application. In addition to pointer and connector tool, there is also a text tool. And all three of them are located in the tools section of the ribbon. You use pointer tool to position the shapes. With the pointer tool, you can drag the shape, you can resize the shape, and you can access properties of the shape. Using connector tool, you can connect shapes by dragging the line and connecting the two shapes. You need to switch back to the pointer tool to delete the line. And you delete the line by selecting the line and clicking cut or using delete button on the keyboard. The text tool allows you to bring in text into the diagram. When you select the text tool, you position the cursor and you start typing. To delete the text, you need to switch back to the pointer tool Select the text and either use cut or delete button on the keyboard. Once vendor is selected, procurement department is also responsible to update original order with how they've made a decision and which vendors they have contacted. And as a next step, they are in charge to request approval from CFO, Chief Financial Officer. I want to pinpoint that what just happened is very cool. We've added a shape that originally didn't fit into the diagram but Microsoft Visio expanded swim lanes automatically to fit the shape, and it will continue to do it as you add additional shapes. We do have additional swim lane for CFO, Chief Financial Officer, but we do not have it named correctly, so we need to go back and give it the right name. If you are like me and trying to avoid usage of the acronyms, you might want to consider adding the full name of the Chief Financial Officer right into the swim lane. After receiving the purchase order, with all the required information, Chief Financial Officer needs to make a decision whether this is the right thing to do for the organization to acquire these goods or services. If Chief Financial Officer decides not to proceed with this acquisition, the process ends. But if CFO decides to proceed, it goes back to the procurement team, and procurement team sends details of the purchase order to the vendor. What's interesting, when I expand it to the next step using embedded features of the Visio, it created a box in CFO swim lane. But this process step is not done by CFO, but rather is done by procurement team. To reflect that, we just need to drag the shape and place it right in the procurement swim lane. We can also change the way arrow is connected. Instead of connecting from the left, we can connect the arrow from the bottom. I did this by dragging the end of the arrow from one spot to another. We also might want to reflect that this step happens only if CFO approves original purchase order. Next step in the process goes back to the original requester, where requester 
needs to work with the vendor to receive goods or services. By default, Box was added into the manager swim lane, but we need to drag the box back into the requester swim lane and position it along the grid lines Microsoft Visio provides. This step concludes the process, which should be reflected by the end symbol in the swim lane diagram. I have a question for you. Do you have a better way of solving the challenge that was presented in this video? Could you please share your thoughts in the comments section of this video? Diagram we have developed looks okay, but kind of plain. We can do a few things to make it look more professional and better meet our needs. One thing I would recommend you do first is to navigate to Design tab and try different design themes. Microsoft Visio provides a lot of different design themes and you can pick based on your company's logo or based on some other criteria that are important to you. I like this theme, which is called Linear, but your preferences obviously might be different. Once you select the theme, you can pick the variant based off of the theme. Variant leaves the fonts, sizes, main ideas of the theme in place, but allows you to pick different colors. I like the second variant as it provides calmer colors. Few things I'd like to pinpoint as we change the theme. For example, you see that the start shape, as well as diamonds for the decision making, got painted in a different color. I believe this is a good thing because it highlights the importance of the start and end points, as well as it highlights the importance of the decision-making diamonds. In addition to changing the theme, Visio provides you a quick opportunity to change the background. You can upload your own image or select from the pre-built images for the background. You might have noticed that because we're using cross-functional flowchart template from Microsoft, Visio added an additional tab which is specific to just this particular type of diagram. If you navigate to this tab, you can do a lot of different things. For example, you can show or hide separators in between the diagram and the swim lanes. You can show or hide title bar. You can choose different styles for your diagram, specific to swim lane type diagram. You can also arrange your shapes differently by changing the margins on the diagram. You can also change the direction of the flow with one click, from left to right to right to left. And you can also change the orientation of the diagram from horizontal to vertical with just one click. I am going to stick with the original type of diagram and just click the undo button. There are also some additional options available to insert swim lane, separators, or new page, and I would recommend you explore them on your own. Please consider subscribing to this channel. Skills that you learn here will be helpful for you now and also in the future. You also get opportunity to help other people by answering their questions and helping them solve their challenges. If you like the content, please give this video a big thumbs up. This tells us that you need more content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.